Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy and we are going to discuss uh, today polynomial and this is uh, lecture number 5. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 4 before watching this part 5. In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss some algebraic identity and their uses. So let me start with those algebraic identity which is required to learn and understood and how it will be used during the questions. So the today topic name is algebraic algebraic identity 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 is the word which is a means it is true for all it is a proved result so this is true for different type of variables so algebraic identity is uh, an identity which is true for all value of diff or different value of combinations like what is that here is some algebraic identity i am writing here that is a plus b whole square you have learned in class 6 maybe or 7 or 8 a square plus 2ab plus b square similarly there is another a minus b whole square is equal to what we can write a square minus 2ab plus b square there is another one a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b isn't it now there are some more that a plus b plus c whole square is equal to what that will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca right this one so you can use this one also sometimes there is some other kind of uh, formula which is to be used like a plus b whole q is nothing else but a q plus b q plus 3 a b into a plus b like this or we can write it a q plus b q plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b a square similarly a minus b whole q is nothing else but we can use it like a q minus b q minus 3 a b a minus b and that further can be written as a q plus minus b q a q minus b q and minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b a square so that is the way in which you can deal with there is one more important formula that is a q a q plus b q plus c q minus 3 a b c is equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a so that is also one of the formula which is to be used and these are few formulas uh, which you keep in mind you must remember all those formula and if you remember these formulas it is not only useful in class 9 but it is also useful throughout the life uh, even in 10th 11th 12th so everywhere it is used so must learn these formulas and uh, i hope uh, if you learn them then definitely you will be able to solve many more questions so how to apply all those formulas in terms of uh, uh, questions and how to deal with that that you have to learn in this chapter so let us without wasting time let us solve some questions and that i am going to discuss here and the last exercise of your booklet book uh, that is uh, exercise 2.5 so looking for exercise 2.5 right we are looking for exercise 2.5 and in this one what we have to do uh, let me write some questions and then definitely i'll write some answers as well so in this exercise the question is use suitable identity use suitable identity it is when we are like so okay use suitable identity here it is given that in first question that uh, in first question 
Let me write. Okay. In first question, it is given that use suitable suitable identity identities find the following product find the following product following product right now one more uh, identity you can use it that uh, if there is an x plus a and x plus b x plus a into x plus b can be written as x square minus a plus b into x plus a is also a result which can be used anyway x plus a into x plus b that is x square minus a plus a plus b into x plus a b and if there is a negative sign we can put here negative sign as well so using the fact uh, these formulas here uh, I'm, I'll refer also in between. So first question is given here that is x plus 4 and x plus 10. So that is x square plus 4 plus 10 into x plus 4 into 10. That will be the product. So it will be x square plus 14x plus 14 and that is the answer of this question. Now the second question is here. Second question is given x plus 8 and x minus 10 again you can use the same thing x square plus 8 minus 10 into x plus 8 into minus 10 so that will be x square minus 2x minus 80 and that will be answered using the same fact one of them is positive term another one of them is negative term so use accordingly there is no specific uh, method to do this that okay third question is there 3x plus 5 <coughs> and 3 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 5 3x plus 4 and 3x minus 5 so I can use it 3x into 3x that is 3x into 3x minus 5 3x to be multiplied with this and 4 to be multiplied with this also so 3x minus 5 in that case 3x multiply with 3x is 9x square 3x multiply by 5 is 15x 4 multiply by 3 is 12x and 4 multiply by 5 is minus 20 so answer will be 9x square minus 15x plus 12x is minus 3x minus 20 that will be answer so i hope you got it how to deal with this type of questions now question number four i am looking for question number four and what is that fourth part of the question that is y square plus 3 by 2 into y square minus 1 by 2 again you can proceed the same thing y square multiply by y square minus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 multiply by y square minus 1 by 2 so you will have y square multiply by y square is y square to the power 4 half of y square plus 3 by 2 multiply by y square 3 by 2 y square 3 by 2 multiply by 1 by 2 is 3 by 4 2 to the 4 3 into 1 3 so that will come up here let me write here one. that will come up y4 minus y to the power 4 that will be equal to y to the power 4 3 by 2 y square minus 1 by 2 y square that is 2 by 2 y square which is equal to y square right now minus 3 by 4 that will be answered so these are the products i hope you got it now question number five question number five is there and that is three minus two x into three plus two x and that is nothing else but three square minus two x whole square that is nine minus four x square i have used here since a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square so this is the identity what i have used here 
right? Huh? So that will be 9 minus 4x square. I hope you got it. Okay. A is what? A is 3 here only. So I have taken 3 square and that is B is 2x. So 2x whole square is 4x square. So these are some questions of the first uh, question. So question, second question now I am taking for evaluate the following product. Evaluate the following product. Product products without multiplying directly. Without multiply multiplying directly. Directly. Right? This is. So the first one is 103 into 107. This is the first question. So we can write it in the previous pattern that is 100 plus 3 can be written as this one can be written as 100 plus 7 and now using the identity we will have 100 into 100 square plus 3 plus 7 a plus b is this into 100 plus 7 into 3 that is 21. What I have used here x plus a into x minus a x plus b is nothing else x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. This is what I have used here. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, so that will be 1 0 0 0 plus 7 plus 3 10 10 into 100 is 1000 plus 21. So that will be 21011 right 11021 that will be answered 10000 plus 1000 plus 21 11021 that will be the answer so you can use it like that now the second part of this is second part second part of this question is given here that 95 multiply by 96. So again you can write it uh, 95 is what? 100 minus 5 and that is 100 minus 4 and product of that will be 100 square minus 5 plus 4 into 100 plus minus 5 into minus 4. Right? Here also that is positive sign minus 5 minus 4 I have taken negative sign common. So that will be 10,000 minus 5 plus 4, 9 into 100 is 900 and plus 20. So 10,000 minus 900 is 9,120. I hope you got it. Okay. So that will be the answer. 9,120. So this will be the answer of this question. Now the next one is 104, third one that is third one third part of the same question that is 104 into 96 in that case you will write 100 plus 4 and 100 minus 4 that will be 100 square 100 square minus 4 square that is 10,000 minus 16 which is 9,900 84 answer. So why I have written this? Because we know a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square. a plus b a minus b I have used it a square minus b square. This is what I have used here. So hopefully you got it. Okay. Now the next question is question number third and question number third is given here that third question is factorize the following using factorize factorize the following following using appropriate identity using appropriate appropriate identity right this is question 
Now the first question is given here. 9x square plus 6xy plus y square. That can be written as 3x whole square plus 2 into 3x into y plus y square. This is in form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So that can be written as a plus b whole square and that will be answered. So there are two factors of 3x plus y and 3x plus y. So using this identity, what the identity has been used? Here identity has been used as a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square. This is what I have used here. I hope you got it. Now the next question is here and the second question is given like uh, there is a 4y square minus 4y plus again this can be written as 2y whole square minus 2 into 2y into 1 plus 1 whole square and that can be written as 2y minus 1 whole square. What the identity I have used here? Identity which is used here that a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b whole square. So this is the identity which has been used here, right now. So this is what I have written. Now the third question is there and third question is here uh, like uh, given that y square x square minus y square by 100 that further can be written as x whole square y by 10 whole square and a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. This is what I have written. So answer. What is the identity has been used here? The identity used here a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. Right now? This is what. So I hope you got it. Okay. Now uh, let us see question number 4. And question number 4 is what? Question number 4 is there and 4 is given. Expand each of the following. Expand each of the following. Each of the following. Following. Expand each of the following using suitable identity using suitable identities right so solution question number one was there and thereafter we will write solution added. so the first question was given here x plus 2y plus 4z whole square so we know we will write here we know a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times of a b plus b c plus c a. Isn't it? 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c a. So we can take 2 common. Now here the same thing and therefore using the same identity here we can write x plus 2 y plus 4 z whole square is equal to x whole square whole square plus 4z whole square isn't it plus 2 into x into 2y plus 2y into 4z and plus x into 4z so what will happen that will be equal to x square plus 4y square plus 4 square is 16 16z square plus 2 times of 2xy plus 4 2 ja 8yz plus 4 1 ja 4xz. Now again we can take 2 common and that will be x square plus 4y square plus 16z square and 2 can be taken common or even you multiply by 2. So that will be 4xy plus 16yz plus 8xz and that will be answer. That is the complete expansion of these terms. Okay. So here I am writing another question, and this is a question number two. 
So question number two is there again in the similar pattern that is 2x minus y minus plus z whole square. So using the same formula we can write it 2x square plus minus y square plus z square plus 2 into what 2 into 2x into minus y right now minus y I have taken here plus minus y into z right plus 2x into z 2x into z this will come so that will be 4x square minus y whole square is plus y square plus z square plus 2 times of this is minus 2xy minus yz plus 2xz right so we will write here 4x square plus y square plus z square minus what will come minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 4xz and that will be answer so in place of y you will put minus y uh, anywhere in the same formula a plus b plus c whole square um, wherever there is a b you will put minus y and it will come like this so i hope you are getting all these things isn't it okay now let us see the next question and the next question is on the same basis that is 3 it is given that minus 2x plus 3y plus 2z whole square. So again using the same formula that is minus wherever there is a, I will put minus 2x, a square plus b square plus c square like this plus 2a into b, a in place of a there is minus 2x, in place of b there is 3y, 2ab, 2bc, 3y into 2z right now ab plus bc plus c and 2z into minus 2x so that will come now you write it 4x square plus 9y square plus 4z square plus 2 into this is minus 6xy and 3 into 2 6yz and this is minus 4xz if you multiply by 2 it will be 4x square plus 9y square plus 4z square minus 12xy plus 12yz minus 8xz and that would be answer. So that is an easy one uh, definitely a bit lengthy so but uh, that is quite interesting one um, that you have to learn a plus b plus c whole square and you can do it directly without actual multiplication so formula is interesting but uh, still lot of work you have to do now the next question is 3a minus 7b minus c whole square again using the same formula that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab a is 3 b is minus 7 minus 7b plus 2bc minus 7b or minus c right minus c. and plus 3a into minus c. that will come so you will use the same formula again and again and in place of a you will put 3a in place of b you will put minus 3b and in place of c you will put minus c right so what will come here c this is 9a square plus 49b square plus c square plus 2 times of let me write here 3 7 21ab plus 7bc minus 3ac and if you multiply by 2 that will be 9a square plus 49b square plus c square minus 42ab plus 14bc minus 6ac and that will be the answer so hopefully you are getting each and every point now right now okay now one more question is there and uh, 
let me solve that one also fifth one that is minus 2x plus 5y minus 3z whole square again using the same fact you will write here minus 2x square plus 5y square plus minus 3z square plus 2 into what will happen minus 2x 5y plus 5y into minus 3z plus minus 3z into minus 2x isn't it so that will come up here um, 4x square plus 25y square plus 9z square plus 2 into 5 into 2 10xy minus 15yz minus plus minus minus plus 3 to your 6 xz and finally it will come like 4x square plus 25y square plus 9z square minus 20xy minus 30yz plus 12xz and that will be answer so it is a same thing i am doing it again and again just for you uh, it is not difficult at all but the last one uh, here has uh, something uh, difficult looks like but isn't it a difficult one 4a minus 1 by 2b plus 1 whole square again using the same formula a square right now plus 1 by 2b b square plus c square plus 2 times of 1 by 4a into minus 1 by 2b ab plus bc bc is minus 1 by 2b into 1 and plus ac that is 1 by 4a into 1 1 okay so we will write 1 by 4 is 1 by 16a square plus 1 by 4b square plus 1 plus 2 times of minus 1 by 8ab minus 1 by 2b plus 1 by 4a and now if you multiply by 2 you will get it 1 by 16a square plus 1 by 4b square plus 1 minus 2 4 ja 8 so 1 by 4ab if you multiply by 2 if you multiply by 2 2 2 cancels out so that will be minus b and if you multiply by 2 that 4 will cancel by 2 and 1 by 2a and that will be the answer so it looks like difficult but not in fact a difficult one and you will be able to do this quickly now next question i am looking for here that is question number 5 and in this question it is given that factorize factorize and what to factorize uh, the first part of this question is given the first part of the question is the first part of the question is given here 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square plus 12xy minus 24yz minus 16xz that is clearly uh, you can see here this is in pattern of 2x square plus 3y whole 4z whole square it's 2 times of 2x into 3y minus 2 times of plus 2 times of which one is negative z is common in both so z must be negative right now the z is common in both so z must be negative so think about this that is minus z it will give the hint that minus z so here uh, these things will be 2 into xy because xy is positive and here 2 into 3y into minus 4z plus plus 2 into 4x into minus 4z into 2x here space is less let me write it here 
स्पेसिफ लेस सो टू इंटू टू एक्स इंटू माइनस फोर जेड एंड सिंस इट इज इन पैटर्न ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ए सो वी कैन राइट इट इन फैक्टर एज ए फैक्टर वॉट वी कैन राइट इट वी कैन राइट इट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई माइनस फोर जेड होल स्क्वायर and that will be the answer there are two successive factors of this so this will be the answer so using the formula you can do this there is no problem at all you can do this questions again and again by using the same formula and there is another question that is 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 root 2 y z minus 8 x z i can write it like uh, this is uh, nothing else but uh, root 2 into x whole square plus where is a uh, negative terms negative term is two places here and here these are the two negative which one is common x is common so x must be negative this is the indication in which we can deal with Because x is present in both and both the terms are negative, so x must be negative. Y square, eight z can be written as two root two into z whole square. My plus two into x term is under root two x, and y term is y only. Plus two into y term is y only, but z term is two root two z, isn't it? Plus two into x z x term is minus 2 root 2 root 2 x and z is nothing else but 2 root 2 z so it is uh, the arrangement you have seen here that 2 into 2 4 and root 2 into root 2 is 2 4 into 2 is 8 so that is the rearrangement of the terms what i have used here and since this is in pattern of a square plus b square plus c square Minus plus two a b plus two b c plus two c a, so we can write it under root two x plus y plus two root two z whole square. That will be the answer. So this is a factor. I hope uh, you are getting all these points. That what I have used here in all these formulas, I have used here since. A square plus B square plus C square plus two AB plus two BC plus two CA is equal to nothing else but A plus B plus C whole square. This is what I have used here. Yeah. So you get it and you got it. I hope so. Right now. So this is uh, what in this lecture, and I am going to take the break, and thereafter. we will discuss the remaining portion of the question till then you do remaining questions right now and uh, i'll see you in the next video the next lecture so keep watching god bless you right now so try to do your best till then bye bye god bless